Hey guys, it's Will again, coming in with video of something I've been waiting for for a while to come in. People I get my stuff through, apparently, um, just like Games Workshop, been having issues with getting Warlord stuff in recently. So uh, I don't think they're going to be watching this, but shout out to you guys, you know who you is. I've talked about you before on the channel. Um, you guys are awesome. Uh, sorry, sorry for having to deal with me. Thank you for dealing with me. Thank you for carrying this stuff. I love it so much. I But we finally have a plastic version of the uh, half track with Turt, which has been um, FAQ to be uh, considered closed top. So you can model it any way you want. But from what I've seen online, the cool thing with this is you can potentially make it as both the transport slash uh, command version the anti-tank with the uh, anti-tank gun on it which I'm gonna do a copy of because I already have one of these as a transport or you can also do the uh, gun the tops are interchangeable they are different so with a bit of finagling and some magnets you might be able to uh, change that so we look at the box here give you guys a second or two if you want to pause it to read it again so these guys are really good at making sure you know what the history about stuff is Looks like we have some cards for each version of it, uh, transfers, looks and stuff. So with that, I'm going to go open the box here and we'll have the sprues on the side. Hey guys, so we're back here. We just got the box open. Look at here we have, it looks like the sprues for the model. So looks like the original plastic sprues potentially, unless they redid it. It's been a while since I built mine, but plastic sprues. For the, the uh, half track, the mini one, it's not the big one. Nope, these are new plastics. Newer. So that, and then they upgrade sprue. So it looks like they might be make these separate later on, so you can just buy one of these. And this has the guns on it. The riders slash operators, which they do have a winter version, slash fall version, or summer versions if you want it. And I think... Potentially Blitzkrieg. So it's like um, models for every sort of season and year. This can be also made for Romanians. Romanians did use these. Uh, if you have Axis armies, you probably do whatever. Who's going to be really picky about that? And then, of course, these new instruction manuals. I've been actually ripping the front pages off these on everyone I get because it's just, it's got so cool. It's got like all the information about it. I may have made quick blurbs. They have been stepping up their game for historical accuracy, so I really know too much and just learning. It kind of helps, and if I think something's off, it forces me to go learn about it. So this is another page I like to rip off for my bits bin, the sheet that basically tells you what comes from it. So you see, like, hey, I want to, I'm building a half-track vehicle. I find this page, it'd be like, Ooh, okay, this is a half-track. And then I flip to it, it's like, okay, here's what came in it, so I can know what I'm looking for. The instructions here, looking good. Uh, it looks like it's in color. That's interesting. There's bits of coloring there. And... So you guys can kind of see how it works. So yeah, so like that top, like I was saying, it just slots on and boom. Um, they aren't that expensive compared to other vehicles made by them in our my local currency. Um, so yeah, so and you could build the guy to be standing the different stuff for painting so you could if you don't glue down the elephant gun there the uh, anti-tank gun you could magnetize it so it and glue the guy to the gun so it just slots in and then you have um, on that same spot you have the turret ring of the half armored half track just click in so with that i'm going to go build this and when we return i will show you what i did so this is the new Altier, Alti, the SDKFZ 250 that can make the 09, 11, and 1. So how I did this was um, I glued the gun to the turret. So um, how it works is, how if you want to say make it this way, make it this version, you would glue the top here. This, this platform that the, the turret sits on top of, the uh, the square. Oh, I broke the seat. Oh, I got super glue. You glue that onto here. You would then glue 
this here, the stem, into the floor there. You then wouldn't glue, if you wanted it to rotate the turret, you, uh, you wouldn't glue the, um, the, uh, you wouldn't glue the turret down. Or you wouldn't glue the, um, that little gap here, if you can get it to fix. That little gap in between the stem there, you wouldn't glue that in. To make this rotate, or go up and down, you wouldn't glue the, uh, there's a little, the sten, stand right there. There we go. But it's all weird, it's all like friction fit, it can, so if you do it right, you know, the gun can elevate up and down, the turret can, the turret can spin, though I think how they have this modeled, you could only really do it one way or the other, you can only, you could either have it so it goes up and down, or you can have it so it rotates, you can't do both because it's all just going to fall apart, like the, the ring's going to fall off, like, it doesn't rotate like it's supposed to. So, because I have it built in a way that I can make it the transport for, say, when I do a um, tank wars. So this would be the, the Rommel carrier, you know, the uh, the HQ command carrier. Hence why I have the internals built. And there's even, like, look at that great detail that they didn't need to put into a gaming model. So, like, this is really well detailed, really well done the best tracks I've actually ever built from a, a Warlord Games model. Like, using barely any, like, the numbering, like, just re referencing the instructions, like, you know, like, every modeler does after. You're just like, I don't need no instructions. It went together almost, like, on its own. The only, only problems I can have with this is, besides the turret not being done so that you can have it up and down and stuff without all the bits kind of falling off, a bunch of the stuff to build this turret could have been molded together already. A lot of it is very finicky and small. Um, the sights on the gun itself, it's, I have it covered, that's why I have it covered, is brakes and stuff. It's just hard. It was no real spots to put it. The lights, uh, as, up, as a reference here, the lights here, um, I cut off the, uh, the tabs off thinking that it was just extra flash. No, it's tabs that actually come on come on actually slides in under so be careful um yeah so i, I kind of just threw bits on there so it can be either or the elephant gun or whatever the light anti-tank gun that can go on the top here is a valid option to build it that way that would i'd either say either build this as this version the the um the nine or build it as the 11 with the, the anti-tank gun. Because um, you can use it either way. You can use it as a transport in that. So I'm going to be doing the elephant gun actually here. I have it built and separated. If you really want to, you could make a plastic like anti-tank elephant gun for your Italians. Because this is the mount for it. It has wheels that you can glue onto it. And you can glue the gun onto it. So you can have an actual plastic crew. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be taking the gun, gluing it to some train to make a light anti-tank team for my winter Germans, because this gives you stuff to make winter German vehicles. So, hey, it's good. But anyways, with that, I'm going to go, and we will see you guys in the next video.